Hello guys, my name is Afif Diyahudi. In this video, I will tell you all about a brief history of physical linguistic. I also will tell you all uh, some important figure that have a big role in this development of physical linguistic. So, without further ado, let's just jump into the video. In the early days, Aristotle a Greek philosopher and polymath during the classical period in ancient Greece noticed that the brain damage could cause aphasia, a language disorder that affects a person's ability to communicate. Aristotle also said that the object of the language and that definite word are subsequently allied to this object. In 1891, Paul Broca, a French physician, anatomist and anthropologist discover a patient with a damage in left part of frontal cortex of the brain and cause that patient who could only say the word tan. For this discovery, a region of the frontal lobe is named after him, Broca area. Meanwhile, in 1876, Karl Wernick found that damage to posterior part of temporal lobe also cause language problem, and it's now called Wernick area. Development of physical linguistic first appear as an independent discipline that come from the works of Wilhelm I, after he built the first official research laboratory for psychological research. One also published a book on language that covers several topics, such as Chat language acquisition, sign language, language perception, and grammatical structure. Because of his work, he is known as the father of experimental psychology. The development of psycholinguistic at the beginning of the modern era focused most of the research in psycholinguistic in the field of children language acquisition. Noam Chomsky, a famous American linguist, and cognitive scientists propose the transformational generative model whose heavenly influence psycholinguistic research on child language acquisition and learning in the 1916 and early 70. Discovering how children acquire the grammatical process in support of the speech they heard was the objective that Research. After that, Noam Chomsky was known as a father to modern psycholinguistic. That is a brief history of psycholinguistic. Let's end this video with some quotes from Noam Chomsky about language. Language is a process of free creation. Its law and principle are fixed, but the manner in which the principle of generation are used is free and infinitely varied. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.